about uh, places that I do not find my own body in. Um, and so it was important for me to synthesize that process of recognition. That might change. At the moment, I'm writing a young adult dystopian speculative fiction. So I'll be interested to know whether there are any autobiographical elements in that. There might be, because as I said, it's coming from me. Um, and so I think whether it's autobiographical or, bio or not is something that is a nice academic question. But for me as the writer, um, it shouldn't influence my writing what I think is a good novel. In terms of the trajectory of the characters, mm -hmm. when I wrote Nervous Conditions, I truly did not believe that I would end up writing the Tambudzai that we find in this mournable body. But success has become a very complicated condition in Zimbabwe at the moment with the kind of political, social, and economic setup that we have. More and more, we find that uh, successful people can almost only be successful if they are aligned to government, or else if they are aligned to some other center of power, uh, maybe a foreign government that uh, has um, that gives money to an NGO. Um, there has been little space left for the people to act privately mm -hmm. and achieve success. And I think this is a very unfortunate situation. On the other hand, education was telling us, go and become yourself, do your own thing, be successful in your own right. So we have a whole generation of people who are caught in the middle, who just don't know what to do anymore. Mm -hmm. And as I was writing this vulnerable body, I had to ask myself, what does success look like? Does it really look like going into business where you know that there is nothing but corruption, where you have to close your eyes to the situation that is on the ground for millions of other people in the country? What does success look like? And this is why at the end, my protagonist, Tambudzai, gives up a job that pays her well, that allows her to have a house, to go back to work with family members. And for me, I was saying that this idea that you can do anything to get yourself a comfortable life may not lead to success at the end of the day, because you have to have